So today I'm going to show you how to uh, laser engrave a coaster using laser drawn your Chinese K40 laser or whatever the case is. I'm going to run through some things really quickly. You can slow it down, but it'll give you some ideas of what you can do. And some of these basics that I show you here are pertinent to being successful in creating anything in laser draw. So I'm not going to go over everything inside of laser draw, but you'll get a good idea of how to use a program. There's another program called Inkscape. And this is a program that's free online. You just type in Inkscape in Google and you download this to your computer. I suggest you watch numerous videos online to learn how to use it. But there's just some basics that you need to know to be successful at creating cool uh, documents and things like that. So the first thing is when you have your K40 laser and you open it up and you go to put something in there. And the first time you print, you notice that when you print on a piece of wood, it might be canted or angled it's not square it's because your machine's not square so what i do is instead of trying to be fancy and make all these aluminum and uh, metal framings that make everything square i don't worry about it here's what i do let's say i want to make a coaster and this coaster is 90 millimeters by 90 millimeters or 90 by 86 it's because it's not perfect it's it's pallet wood so i'm going to come here and i'm going to do a layout and i'm going to make the width uh, 86 and I use my calipers to do that I come in here like this and like this or a tape measure and so I type in 86 <clears throat> and 90 so there it is there's my coaster although it looks huge on the screen it replicates what you see right here all right so now instead of squaring things up I just simply come here and I draw a square now I can't remember which one's the height and which one's the width so I click off of it and it says the height is 90 okay so I click back on my square or my rectangle and I change my height to 89.9 I take off a tenth and then I come up here to width instead of 86 I'm gonna put 85.9 enter and then I double click right here on this center and in it that center button or a peak button and it centers it directly right on there now what will happen is I go inside my laser bed and I put some masking tape down or construction paper and I tape it and that's going to be where I'm going to burn this line. So I come here just like you would normally when you go to print and I change it to cutting. And when you cut things up normally, like if you're going to cut a letter or something, you change this down to five or ten and you turn your power up a little bit. I'm actually going to turn my power down to what I would normally engrave with something like 11 percent. And then I'm going to change this to 60 so it speeds right through it and makes this nice rectangle for me. I'm going to hit start. And then what that just did, it, it will print that line on there and I'll be able to set this directly in it. So it might be turned like this, but it doesn't matter. It's going to be nice and square when it prints. So I'm done. <clears throat> and I'm going to delete. And once again, Control Z. Let's see if I can bring that back on there. I'm going to delete that rectangle off or delete. It's gone. Because if I don't, it's going to engrave it along with whatever else I want to engrave. Now I simply go to Inkscape and I want to create some kind of cool picture that I can put on to my um, coaster. And you can do this rather quickly. And again, I know the video is quick, but you can slow it down and watch it over and over. So I'm going to come here. And the first thing I want to do is go to Path Trace Bitmap. This is a very important uh, tool to have open. Now I'm going to go to uh, either a file that I saved a picture as. <clears throat> In this case, I'm going to use a picture that's on the internet. Of course, that you know I would use my own pictures, but for the simplicity of this tutorial, I'm going to hit Copy Image. Now I'm going to go back to Inkscape. I'm going to right mouse click. I'm going to hit Paste. Now you'll notice the picture is not inside this boundary. This boundary really doesn't mean anything right now. So up here into our Trace Bitmap tool, I want to turn this into a black and white image. If I hit edge detection, notice the threshold over here. These numbers pertain to uh, edge detection. Uh, these numbers pertain to brightness cutoff. And I normally use this one. We'll click remove background. I'm going to show you what edge detection does. It makes it like a cartoon drawing or a uh, coloring book drawing. So when I hit OK, you can see it just created a little drawing for me. And I uh, could print that if I wanted to. Uh, I want to get rid of it, so I'm going to click it and hit delete. I'm going to change it back to brightness cutoff, and we'll bring those numbers down just a little bit. <clears throat> and it's going to make a black and white image that I can actually laser engrave. And I'm going to basically export that in just a second. So I'm going to pull this image off, 
click on the original image and delete it. Now I want this to fit inside this boundary. So that's real simple. I just click on it. Come here to File, Document Properties, and Resize Page or Drawing Selection. And now it put it in there perfectly for me. And we'll go ahead and close this tool. Now I'm ready to either uh, manipulate this picture a little bit, like use the erase tool and get rid of some of the things I don't want. And in the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and move on. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. And I always save my images uh, as a uh, EMF file. So I'm going to come here to EMF. And I'm going to name it IU and hit Save. And it's going to say, do you want to overwrite what you already have? I'm going to hit Yeah because I've already done this once before. <clears throat> okay, so I have it saved now. And I go back to Laser Draw, and I'm ready to import my picture. Now, this is my coaster. It's absolutely the, the size that you see right here. So I'm going to come here to Graph, and I'm going to hit Bitmap. And here's my image. I'm going to hit uh, Open. And now it gives me a little crosshair, and I can just draw the image out now I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger than the coaster because I want when it prints I want it to go from edge to edge because I don't want a straight line uh, where it just cuts off on my coaster because it just wouldn't look good and I'll show you what I mean here once this pulls up at the same time you can come up here uh, once you get your image where you need it you can click on text and add any text and I'll do that also so this image is kind of complicated so it, it may take a second to uh, load on here it should load any time now but uh, once this is loaded you can resize it to your coaster and there you go now i can simply double click and it puts it center and this is what i mean by that straight edge right here it's just it doesn't look good so i'm going to pull this over just a little bit <clears throat> and it should run off the edges now when it prints it'll look rather good and i would have erased this in inkscape so now i'm ready to add some text down here at the bottom. So I'm going to go to uh, line text and there's Indiana University. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. We'll pull this across. And if you notice these lines right here, if you don't get them perfect, then it's going to be canted or angled. And you notice mine's not perfect right now. And I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to pull up and we'll pull this back down, center it using this guideline here. Now, again, this isn't perfectly straight. So to get it perfect, I hold my shift key down, come to this little node right here and double click. And it just adjusted itself perfectly. Now I come over here to the font and I can start going through the different fonts that I want to use for Indiana University. And let's just say this is the font that I want. Now I'm ready to print my coaster. So I simply come up here. I click um, that little icon. I change this, ensure you change it to engraving. And usually I cut at a speed of 300 and a power of somewhere between 11.6 and 14. And I hit start. And that's it. And you create thing. I hope you can see that. <clears throat> I made this for my sister in law. Um, she's got a memorial um, and a reunion for uh, an army unit my brother was in. And she wanted me to make her some coasters, and that's what I did. So that's how you do it. It's uh, pretty simple. Um, you can mess around with things on here. Uh, but what I just showed you is the key to making nice things really quickly without having to become an expert at all this stuff, because I'm certainly not an expert. I hope this video helps you out. If you need anything, uh, let me know. Or if you can teach me anything about what I left out that could be pretty cool, that would be great. Have a good day.